so hi guys good afternoon to everyone um for today we are talk- going to talk about human impact on the environment so let us talk first about hipco hipco stands for habitat destruction degradation fragmentation invasive species population growth and increasing use of resources pollution climate change and over exploitation so what is habitat destruction habitat destruction is defined as the elimination or alteration of the conditions necessary for your animals and plants to survive not only impacts individual species but the health of the global ecosystem so it is also called habitat loss the process by which a natural habitat cannot support its own native species so next is invasion an invasive species is an organism that is not indigenous or active to a particular area. Invasive species can cause great economic and environmental harm to the new area. An introduced organism that becomes overpopulated and harms its new environment costly or causing economic damage. So usually, humans are responsible for the transporting of other species around the world. They would increase their number because there is a lack of predators which will control the population. Population growth Population growth, the scientific study of human population is called demography. So, it explains on how those populations will change over time. The increased number of people in a population or a dispersed group can cause an imbalance with between growth and death. So, geographic distribution is... Where are the species and how close they are to each other? Pollution The presence in or introduction into the environment of a substance or a thing that has harmful or poisonous effects. Pollution, also called environmental pollution, the addition of any substance. So land, air, water, noise, light, these are the types of pollution. So pollution can be caused by natural phenomenon or they can be made by man or man-made. So it damages the environment. Climate change. So climate change is a long-term change in the average weather patterns that have come to define Earth's local, regional, and global climates. These changes have a broad range of observed effects that are synonymous to the term. So as you can see, excessive carbon, leads to global warming. So what are the effects of these climate changes? So the effects of these are hotter temperatures, severe thunderstorms, increased drought, rising of ocean levels, loss of species, and not enough food. So overexploitation. This is also called overharvesting. Refers to harvesting or renewable resources or resources to the point of diminishing returns. Continued over-exploitation can lead to the destruction of the resources. So, the over-gathering of natural resources, putting a number of species at risk of, at risk of extinction. So, this is not just limited to humans, but to also other living creatures as well. So, how do humans accelerate species extinction and degradation of ecosystem services? Deforestation and industrial agriculture plays a role in species extinction and man-made greenhouse greenhouse gases are also responsible. Population growth, resource use, pollution and climate change contributing to species extinction. So population growth. Population growth is the increase of number of people or population in the dispersed group or in a dispersed group. So it, it can cause imbalance between growth and deaths. Resource use. These are the raw materials that we use for daily consumption like water, soil, air, and biodiversity and land as habitats for recreational purposes. So pollution and climate change are harmful gases that are present in the atmosphere. The result of pollution is climate change. The change of usual weather pattern in a certain area. So, how can we sustain the species and the ecosystem services they provide? So, in attempt to sustain the species and in the environment, 
the governments should impose or make an environmental law to help reduce and avoid causing damage further to the ecosystem. This law will create a safe haven for the species making a protected wildlife sanctuaries and taking precautionary safety measures to prevent them from harming the animals and ecosystems. Killing, capturing, and selling of wild species threatening biodiversity. Illegal killings, capturing, selling, and trading of wildlife is rampant because it is highly profitable. These wild and rare species are high in price and in the market for the rarity to its kind. Thus, this will lead to their extinction. So this is not just applicable to humans, but to all organisms as well, including plants, trees, and others. In conclusion, the higher the price is, the rarest the species you can find. So how can we sustain terrestrial and aquatic biodiversity? Through protecting severely damaged areas and the preserved areas, make laws that will prevent them from being damaged further and restoring damaged ecosystems. And so thank you for watching everyone. Um, all the photos that you saw on the presentation was taken by me. And this has been Junkri Steven Lim Jorge. And this is Introduction to Graphics and Photojournalism. Thank you, Dr. Sami Kayat, our advisor for the second semester of school 2021 and 2022. Once again, thank you.